what is the use of a login form which does not accept a password let's try and add a password to this in this step let's do it a little quickly so what we want is this is name and we want to have a password field as well so i'll say password and i would need to create a text field to accept the password in html5 there is a type called password so i'll use that type password and I'll also give the name as password because the name of this particular field is also password. So its type is password because when I type something in in a password field, it will not be visible. And the name which I'm giving to it is also password. So now I have a password in here. As a first step, let's actually just display the password. Ideally, this should not be done because I mean, why do you want to display a password on a screen? So not really good thing to do. But just to say that we are able to pick it up, let's add it to the welcome.jsp as well welcome and your password is dollar so there you go now this is so simple to add in a field now if i go and refresh the screen login.do you see a name and a password and i type in name as in 28 minutes and i'll pass i'll say some password and press login uh -huh. <laughs> Firefox asks me if it wants to, if I want to save my password, I'll say no. And the message which I get back is welcome in 28 minutes and your password is some password. Ideally, you should not do this. You will never display a password on a website, but we just wanted to make sure that we are able to get the password correctly. Now, now that we added in the password, let's quickly add in some validation for the password and make sure that a user is valid before he comes in. So there are two kinds of flows possible one is a valid user right so there's a valid user he logs in and that user we would want to send him to the welcome page so valid user with the right password we want to send him to the welcome.jsp or I mean, it should be able and an invalid user what do we do with him invalid user i mean if the id and password is invalid what do we do we send him back to the login page right that's basically what we would do we would send him back to the login page. That's the functionality that we would try and develop right now. So if it's a valid user, we'll go to welcome.jsp. And if it's an invalid user, we'll go back to login.jsp. What we would want to do is to find out if a user is valid or not. For that, I need to have a service. What I'll do is I'll create a new Java class. So I'll call it new class and I'll say user validation service and say finish. And the user validation service will have a method. So it will accept, it's a public method and it would return a Boolean, whether the user is valid or not. So it will say if a user is valid or not. And the name is user, is user valid and it accepts two inputs, string user and string. And now I'll have one set of user ID and password, which is valid. So I'll say if user equals in 28 minutes and password dot equals dummy, return true i'll say let's assume that this is the only set of valid user id and password in all other situations we are returning a false back this is a very simple service actually this would be talking to some authentication service usually which is in a database or which is really a authentication system to find out whether the user id and password is fine but here, because we are starting with web application development, we created a hard-coded, simple user validation service. This validation service, it accepts, if it, it sees if it's in 28 minutes or and dummy, if the user ID is this and dummy, then it's a valid user. And any other user for this particular system is an invalid user. So this is a, quite a simple validation service that we built in. Now, we would want to make use of this in the login servlet. So what we want to do in the login servlet is in the post method, I'll do a right click, refactor, and extract local variable. And I'll give it a name. I'm getting the name from the request parameter, as well as I'll get the password as well. I'll call this pass. So all we are, do all we are doing is we are taking from the request and putting it to a variable. Now I'm putting it to a variable so that I can pass it to the login service method. So we have actually created a user validation service. So what I'll do is I'll create an instance of the user validation service in here. So I'll say private user validation service is equal to new user validation service. I've created now the service. I would call the service from here. Service dot is user valid. I need to pass in the name and the password. 
what does it return it returns if the user is valid or not so it is user valid if user is valid what do we want to do if user is valid we want to send him to the welcome JSP that's what we decided earlier so if user is valid we will send him to the welcome JSP else what did we want to do we wanted to send him back to the login so let's go ahead and do that all that we have done in the last few steps is we created a user validation service the user validation service has only one set of valid user ID and password if that's met then it returns true otherwise it returns false and in the login servlet we created an instance of this particular service and we are now using this particular service to validate if a user is valid if the user is valid we are sending him to the welcome JSP he has entered the correct user ID and password so he can go to the welcome.jsp otherwise we are sending him back to the login.jsp let's see if this particular piece of code is working I'll take the user ID from here in 28 minutes and also I'll take the password from here dummy and use it and see if it's working fine aha that's good I'm going to the welcome.jsp and I can see the welcome screen in the welcome.jsp I'm printing the password I don't want to see the password anymore on the screen so let's remove the password from the welcome.jsp so in the welcome.jsp I don't need the password anymore so let's just say welcome username so let's do a refresh and it's only printing welcome in 28 minutes that's really good so login.do I type in in 28 minutes be careful with the case because we have actually made a case sensitive thing so be careful with the case of in 28 minutes so you copy in in 28 minutes and the password is P A S S oops not P A S S it's D U M M Y and press login you'd go into the welcome page let's now try with a invalid user ID and password so in 28 minutes and some other password login it comes back to the login page so if I enter an invalid user ID and password it takes me back to the login page that's really good but I would really like to see a message in here I would want to see a message which says something is wrong you have done something wrong you entered the invalid credential something of that kind needs to be printed in here so let's add that functionality in too so we want to add a message what message do we want to add we want to add a error message so how do we send that to the JSP from servlet if I want to send something to the JSP one of the options is request so request or set attribute error message what is the error message for now I'll just hard code it in here invalid credentials we have set the attribute invalid credentials in here but we also need to show it on the login.jsp let's create a paragraph P and let's show the error message in here oops it's not right dollar the thing which we used is error it's case sensitive so be very careful with it and also I'll put a font color is equal to red just to show that it's an error message I mean this is not really uh, perfect HTML but we'll work on it very soon so font color is equal to red error message and the username and the password let's see what happens now login.do I enter in 28 minutes as the name and some wrong password aha there you go invalid credentials is coming in right now so now I type in in 28 minutes and the correct password welcome in 28 minutes that's perfect so now if I enter the wrong password invalid credentials if I enter the right user ID and password I'll be logging in that's really cool so you have actually implemented your first real login form using post right now in the next step we would further enhance this functionality